Okay, so this week, the phrases that will the phrase that we'll be learning is Jin Sheng Li Shui Yu Chu Kun Gang. What does it mean? It means gold from the Li River and jade from the Kunlun region. So the first word is Jin. What does it mean? Golden, precious, bronze, metals in general, gold and money. So it's kind of made up of like a few different parts. I don't know if you can hear my mom practicing the flute in the back, but um so Jin is made up of Wang, which is the second character you see in the list, which is king. Then you have a person's like hand or something, and then um and then things like the Lu that we've been talking about. So if we look, the character Jin and Jinwen originally changed from Wang, which is king, shaped like the head of an axe and a tomahawk. I'll just post it down in the chat. And uh, the two dots like middle cakes. And the person with the little line under it. I'll post it in the chat too. G, the, uh, the shape of Jin. Jin is the sound symbol for gold. Gold originally referred to copper and later referred to all metals and then referred to gold. <laughs> I'm sorry, Smith Eddie. Uh, teaching Mando. <laughs> so the inscription, the Jin Zi inscription resembles an axe head with a thick dot representing a middle pie block, which is used to refer to the middle that makes or constitute the axe head. By extension, it generally refers to general metals. <laughs> Mando goes where it pleases, true? So some common phrases we have Zijin Jijin Xianjin Jinrong Huangjin Jinshu Mei Jin Jiang Jin Jin Qian Jin Fa Jin Er Jin Pai Jiang Xue Jin Jin Se Zhu Jin Jin Bi I didn't change the thing. 
There we go. That should be correct for today's words now. Oops. I like changed them, but I didn't like turn off like the, the other ones. You're Jinsa. Thank you. I'm golden color. You're blonde? My character is blonde too. Speaking of which, I'm changing my uh the hairstyle and like the clothes of my OC, so she'll be done maybe like I don't know. Takes a while to draw things. Anyways, example sentence. We have Jiu Dian Yao Chi Wei Swa Yo Chi Tian Yu Ding Zhi Fu Ya Jin Jiu Dian Yao Chiu Wei Swa Yo Chi Tian Yu Ding Zhi Fu Ya Jin Jiu Dian is hotel. Yao Chiu is requires. Wei Suo Yo is all. Ti Tian is advance. Yu Ding is bookings. Zhi Fu. Ya Jin is like deposit. Jiu Dian Yao Chiu Wei Suo Yo Ti Tian Yu Ding Zhi Fu Ya Jin So, next word, we have sheng. What does it mean? As an adjective, living, raw, unworked, unprocessed, unrefined, uncooked, fresh, unripe, green, unfamiliar, unacquainted with, strange, is noun, life, scholar, pupil, as verb, produce, spring forth, beget, be born, give birth to, bear, and grow. So, looking at the etymology. So, what we have is... Uh, we have basically like two different parts to this. The little thingy on the top and the line on the bottom. So the little thingy on the top represents a sprout. I posted in the chat to tell you what it kind of looks like. From sprout and one and the one under it rub resembles the shape of the land. The whole character means to grow out of the ground and the original meaning is to give birth or to grow. Cactus. <laughs> so in the earlier period, the inscriptions in bronze, so Jin Zi is inherited the shape of the oracle bone inscriptions. Later, a dot was added under it as a decorative pen, and then the dot was changed into a horizontal line. So the one under the sprout became earth. The shape of the small seal script is basically the same, but still does not lose the image of the sprout, which means born from the land.
So how do you remember this word? You can think about it as a simplified picture of a plant growing out of the ground. Growing chickens out of the ground, mad impressive. Well, it's not a chicken, so. <laughs> Some common phrases. Xue Sheng. Sheng Ming. Which also can mean, like, life. One's life. <laughs> One's chicken foot. <laughs> True. Chan Sheng. Ren Sheng. Sheng Ri. And if you say Sheng Ri, Kuai Le, then you have a uh, happy birthday. Hi, Scrounge. Thank you for hosting. I'm, uh, in the me uh in the middle of teaching some mando which happens every monday and friday at 5 p.m est but i have to do it a bit earlier this time because i have to go to a blood test in about an hour and 15. but welcome and on to the next one, we're at the third from the last, is sheng qi, which is to get angry or is angry. And thank you for the sub as well. WTF one year already. Yeah, it's been a whole year. Thank you. I actually started streaming last year, wow. Now that I think about it. Like this year, uh, last year this time. Yi Sheng and Nu Sheng. A school girl, or you can say like a female or girl. Chu Sheng Sheng Wu Sheng Tsun Nan Sheng Again, schoolboy or just a, a male, a guy. Da Xue Sheng Sheng Zhang Kao Sheng. And I was talking about this earlier. Sheng Ri Kuai Le, which is happy birthday. Oh, the birthday part comes first, and then the happy is later. So, like, directly translated, it is birthday happy. So, example sentence. I couldn't think of a, a Chinese name for myself, so I just went with uh, a nid. Yi Ni De Shi Ge Hao Lao Shi. Tai Dui Xue Sheng Hen You Nai Xin. Yi Ni De Shi Ge Hao Lao Shi. Ta Dui Xue Sheng Hen You Nai Xin. Yi 
Inida is the person's name, Enid. Shiga is like is one. How is good. Lao Shi is teacher. Ta. So Ta Dui is she. Like her attitude to, or like her. I guess way of interacting with. Xue Sheng is student. Hen is very. Yo is have. Nai Xin is patience. Yi Ni De is a good teacher. He is very patience. The third word today is Li. So elegant, beautiful. I don't know. It was the person's name in the example, so I just used the same pair, a couple, which is not the meaning anymore, and beauty. When I like. Put rye into Google Translate, it just comes up with like the literal rye, like you know, like the wheat kind. Should have a hundred percent used the word for rye. All right. Hey my, which is. I'll just post that. Or like hey xiao my, ah that's okay, sounds okay. It like sounds bad. That's why. Or you can just call me like Xiao Mai, which isn't really like Rai in this case, but like. Xiao Mai is like wheat. It's like, why would I call myself wheat? Which is kind of like interesting. But maybe I'll ask my mom if like. There's a better word for it. Anyways. <laughs> so we have it looks like pretty interesting when you look at the jinzi which is the middle one in the first row so the jia and the jin wen so like the orca bones and the bronze inscriptions look like a deer with double horns Especially the pair of beautiful antlers on the head of a deer. So it has the original meaning of beauty. In order to describe a thing, ancient characters often draw all the things that are connected or related to the thing. For example, to represent. So, for example, when you draw, when you want to say eyebrow, the eyes are also drawn. So, in this case, the character Li means a pair of beautiful horns, and the body of the deer is also drawn to clearly show that it is the antlers.
Almost sounds like you're calling yourself white if you're calling yourself wheat. Well, no. You see, the thing with that is that hay is black. It means black. So it's like really interesting. That's why I didn't like use those words. Maybe I'll ask them if there's like, you know, uh, something that like sounds like rye, but is not like a literal translation of rye. The third one looks like a chicken. <laughs> so some common phrases. Mei Li. Hua Li. Liang Li Xiu Li Yan Li Zhuang Li But the like the most common usage is Mei Li, which is the first one. I don't think I've ever like really necessarily like heard anyone say or like see it anywhere of the other ones, except for maybe like the first one and the second one. So the last one for today, very common word, shui, which is water, fluid, liquid, and river. So here are some pictures. The oracle bone inscriptions of the word shui, or water, vary in complexity. The central stroke is used as a water flow, and the dots next to it are used as water droplets. The number of water droplets varies. Since this is a pretty simple word, this word also is used in other characters, so we call that a radical. The number of water flow varies, or there are Diameters in the shape of water droplets. The inscription water in bronze also resembles flowing water. And the And so like when you look at the little water droplets, this shape of the upper and right dots and the strokes are slightly different from uh, the periods, depending on the period that um, it was used. No example sentence for the no, but uh, I can come up with one on the spot. It's like you're very pretty, which is ni hen mei li. I'll type it out. Well, in that case, like. Like, you can just say piaoliang, which is pretty, too. But moving back to common phrases. So we have Shui Ping. 
Can I do the letter as well as of that one too? Yes. I'll post it all together as well. There, now it's together. <clears throat> or you can also like think about like a, maybe a song or something as like beautiful, I guess. But like you would mostly use uh, another like word to describe that. <laughs> so I'll say it one more time so that you can have the uh, pronunciation for it. Ni hen mei li. So the difference between mei li and piao liang, which is usually what like people would say instead, is that here I'll just post the Piao Liang here. The other way of saying it is here. So the difference between Mei Li and Piao Liang is like Mei Li is more like an elegant version of like like beauty. It's like beauty versus pretty, you know? Like one sounds better than the other, but it's not used as often. So like Mei Li is beauty and Pialing is pretty. Any other questions about that before I go back to our common phrases? No problem. What part would they replace? It would just be the you, the, the ni, the very first character. So like for example, you can say like, I don't know, like, my cat? Because I don't want to use boyfriend, but like, you get the point. <laughs> So some common phrases would be shui ping, which is a standard. Shui guo. Xin shui. Shui ni. Shui jing. Qian shui. Shwein Shwein Shui Jun Wu Shui Shui Shou 
洪水，下水道，水库。And like usually, you can tell what a word means. By looking at it, because it's like basically a simplified ver, uh, like a pictograph, and um, like for example, if you look at shui ku, shui is obviously water that we learned about, and ku is like storage, right? It's this place where you store water. Or if you break up like ku into its parts, you have a car under a house or under a roof. I think what would be really helpful is that, like, if we go through and like learn all of the different radicals, so that when we look at a word that we don't know, we can pick it apart and think, like, you know,、uh, kind of imagine what it would mean. I think that'd be pretty good. Which is what we'll be doing after we finish section one. And some last phrases: 口水海水汽水水上Example sentence: 一定要带一瓶水。一定要带一瓶水。一定 is like I guess like、um, 一定 is like you must.、Uh, I guess you can put the three words in the front together. So 一定要 so you have to or you must. 带 is to bring. In this use case. Yi ping is like a bottle, and shui is water. So like, dai can also be used like for like a band, a belt, ribbon, or as a noun, and then carry or lead as a verb. Like carry, lead, wear, show, bring up, consist of. It's like noun, verb, adjective, and conjunction. It's used as. Yeah, so fairly word to word, word. 一定要带一瓶水。
Any questions for today's lesson? If not, this has been the first four characters of our uh, phrase for this week. And so like the thing, we're going through the thousand character classic. And so it's basically a gigantic poem that this guy wrote. Uh, like a few maybe centuries ago that uses a thousand unique characters so we've been going through section one of that and it's broken up into eight character kind of um, eight character blocks how many are we on let me see we are on We are on the sixth, um, the sixth eight word um, block. So that is like <laughs> forty eight characters we've gone through so far. But like some of them are more common than other ones. So if you, I have a document in my Discord that kind of shows the, I'll just copy paste it anyways. One second. Yeah, some of the VODs I have, I have all the VODs on YouTube and Twitch. I haven't posted this one yet or the one before this, but I'll do that today. I think this is week uh, six. Yeah, lesson nine, 